thus, in the monumental confusion of the 20th century, we have finally come to the golden age of bureaucracy. In Ottawa, it is important that all lines of responsibility have been suitably blurred. This absence of accountability is a cornerstone of bureaucracy. The Canadian government put up some temporary buildings. 39 years later, they were still trying to tear them down. At the present rate of decline, it will be empty in 12 years. Bureaucracy cannot cease to exist. And thus, the recent purchase of a 700-year supply of bureaucrats in Canada for the spreading of bureaucracy. As it is with all public servants, most of these people are generally useless. They appear to develop a set of delusions which enable them to perform astonishing absurdities without the slightest embarrassment. It helps to explain the astonishing statistic that only one Canadian civil servant in every 15,000 belongs to that rare breed of public servant trying to act like a normal human being. He appears to have no useful function. His life's work is to reduce the complexities of an individual human being to that which can be codified and measured. They will not be judged on whether or not they have promoted truth over falsehood, love over hate, joy over despair. They will be judged solely on whether or not they have followed the proper procedure. The revolution does not destroy a bureaucracy. Bureaucracy proved to be indestructible. Common sense and human decency have withered and died. The civil servant appears to lose all contact with the real world. What remains is the truncated remnant of a human being. And so he will labor always in never-ending, aimless circle, under a cloud of universal incompetence forever, 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 forever. And when we are finally laid to rest, it will be in strict accordance with government regulation.